What's up, party people? It's me. I'm back. It's been like seven-ish hours since, uh, not seven, like probably closer to like six hours since I last recorded. Um, so I'm gonna take a second here to. I got my vape is is out of charge. Is dead. It's been a while since I charged it, so I'm I'm getting the charger out. Give me just a second. Ah. Uh, yeah, just just one second here. Gotta plug it in. I have a little um, thing on my keyboard that lets me plug in chargers, but I can't use my mouse. But I'm not. I don't use mouse to play this game, anyways, so it doesn't matter. Okay, vape plugged in. Um, so I didn't really want to record anymore today, honestly. If I'm honest, if I if I'm jaw rule with you, I didn't want to record like anything at all for the rest of the day because I was like I did my due diligence today I got some footage to record enough to you know put out for probably like the rest of the year um but I was like I was thinking back on it and I was like my topics for conversation today are not topics for conversation they're topics for a monologue today um were like I never really finished them so I was like I don't want to stop now right or not that i don't want to stop now it's just that i don't think like i'm basically forcing myself to go back and finish like one single topic fuck he's gonna drop a red heart i think that was bad damage this is bad damage too no 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 okay so I never really finished a topic conversation today because I kept getting distracted. I get distracted like very easily. He didn't drop a red heart. Um, I get distracted very easily and I got distracted twice on this last room alone. Uh, so, I mean, this is just horrible play because I'm not focusing. Um, that's why I usually say I'm not going to talk about anything until my deal with the devil because... Usually I want to see if the, if the run gets better, but like at this point it's just like one soul heart, chance to fear, chance to spawn a rainbow poop upon taking damage. I guess it's just like good. It's a small damage upgrade. Um, and I want to be able to talk about stuff without being, you know, weird about it. So I think it's like a, a good... Like, even if the idea, or, or the co the topic I talk about during this episode isn't good, um, it's still good practice to finish a topic, you know, without getting distracted. Um, I'll talk about the run a little bit right now. Um, it's it's doo-doo right now. I took a bunch of bad damage on one room. I got hit by, like, a champion or something. Or not even, like, a champion. It was just, like, I got hit by... An enemy. Stop. 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 Um. I hate Ragman. Ragman has too much HP for a first floor boss. Like, it seems like I'm just, like, shooting forever here. And he has that homing tier garbage. What's that all about? Um. I don't like that. You. I don't know if you get like a recharge on his on HP if I don't kill you. I don't know. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna live. This floor. But I need some help. This'll help. Uh and I think I'm just like out of here. I'll see ya. Um So I think like a good way to start a conversation here is uh to take a take a play out of the jerry seinfeld book and um what's the deal with that airline food um i've been on a plane a few times in my life and i was explaining to josh the other day about what flight like flight terminology basically he was like what is a round trip non-stop flight do you go like around the world in one 
like trip and I was like uh like obviously not that's stupid no one goes around the world just to for fun airline tickets are expensive for the most part especially round trip tickets and so I was like I know what round trip means I know what non-stop means I don't know what round trip non-stop means I assume it just means that on the trip there and the trip back you never once stop at another place right but like what if that's not what it means right I can't think of what else it would mean so I'm, I'm just gonna assume that that's you never have to stop on the way there or on the way back it just goes there and that seems expensive probably because it is I don't I've never seen the prices for it I probably should have rerolled that um I, and I've never bought a plane ticket before I've been on a plane before but like my parents bought the ticket because I was like seven I've been on a plane multiple times actually you know be, like it's been you know not since I was seven it, it's been like I was the last time I was on a plane was like when I was 15 or something probably 15 15 or 16 for sure um, it was a flight to Illinois and it wasn't a non-stop flight or, or, or I, I should say a, a round-trip non-stop flight it was neither it was a round trip but it wasn't non-stop um, it did stop several times. Um, why does this dude have so much HP? Uh, on the flight there, we had to stop in, like, some town in Illinois. And then on the way back, we had to stop in Dallas. And that makes no sense. Like, I feel like that's... Like, they, they know more than me, right? And it does make, like, some degree of sense. Like, a very small amount of sense. That someone going from Illinois to North Carolina would have to stop in Dallas. Like, I'm not going to act like North Carolina isn't a, a destination that many people go to. Because it's, it is. Probably not as many as, like, New York City or something. That was bad. Um, people in New York City probably go more, or people going to New York City are probably more common than people going to, uh, North Carolina. I'm just kind of focused on this fight here. I don't want to take damage here. Um, because New York City is, like, a more, not important place, but, like, a, like a, a place peop more people go. It's more popular of a destination. Is what I'll say. Because it is. It's more popular of a destination. That's not, you know, fake news. What is going on in here? So, yeah, I'll take both of these. Um, take this. Take this. Infinite verb. Okay, well, I'm leaving. I'm kidding. Come here. Hey. You're irritating me. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's go. Demon Babby, welcome aboard. Uh, I got five cent and seven keys, so we're checking this out. Uh, straight up, hit the space bar. That does nothing for me. 
I need a spirit heart. Thank you. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh, and, and so the flight went from Illinois, or, or like Chicago, to Dallas, then to North Carolina, RDU Airport. Um, now, that is, of course, better than, you know, making a hundred stops on the way, but like, imagine flying all the way to Dallas just to turn around, or like, not turn around, but turn like, like, a degree angle and and going towards North Carolina that hit right there this one right here shouldn't have hit me champion bullshit is what it was strength fuck it hit me get out get out let me focus here for a second Success of this run hinges on it. Sorry, I don't take bad damage. Thanks for playing. Bonk. 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 Probably should have rerolled those. Don't care. I like the speed up. I, I appreciate the speed up. Also appreciate the health up. I'm gonna take some bad damage. Okay, it's, it's inevitable. Um, anyways, so it's, but like I don't, despite being on flights, you know, several times in my life, you know, I've never, I don't really know much about airplanes. I feel like I should know more about airplanes, honestly. Why I feel like I should know more about airplanes? Uh, thanks for asking. Um. Uh, I've, I don't want to say I've flown an airplane before, but, like, I've been in, like, the cockpit of an airplane, and I touched the steering wheel. I guess it's not called the steering wheel. If I was a pilot, I would know that. I would know what it was called, more, more like. It's not called the steering wheel. It's probably called the, uh, rudder mover. M rudder thing? I, I don't know. Does it matter? I'm not worried about getting hit on this floor. I had a 33% chance anyway. So I'll probably get that chance back after I leave the room. Or it'll be like 8% or something. Something dumb. Yeah, 9%. Um, and I've, I've touched the little wheel thing. And we were like in the air. And I like turned the plane. And I was like, hey, that's pretty good. Um, it wasn't like a, a 740, 737? 747? I don't know plain lingo. Um, fuck. Fuck. Look, I should have killed you first. Um, I don't know plain lingo. Should I know plain lingo? Like, of course not. Are you out of your mind? Why would I know plain lingo? I'm not a pilot. Do I claim to be one because I touched a steering wheel of a plane before while it was in the air? Um, I'm basically a pilot at this point, so I mean, I, I like, because I've touched the, the steering wheel to a plane, like, once before in my life, I, like, I've had visions, like, daydreams of, of being, like, yeah, the pilot just, uh, had a stroke, or, or the pilot has had a very long night and just fell asleep at the wheel, uh, can somebody come land this plane, please, and I'm just, like, and everyone just looking around, and I'm, like, well, I mean, I've touched a steering wheel before, I mean, how hard can it be? So, I I don't think touching the steering wheel of a of a, of a plane in flight makes me any more or less qualified to fly a plane. I, I mean, like, let me let me put it this way: if there was like, if they were like, yes, the pilot has just had a stroke, and um, we need someone to land this plane, right? And then they have like. Someone in the Air Force versus me who has touched a plane steering wheel once before in my life. You know, I'm not going to be like, well, you know, you were in the Air Force and you did fly, like, planes professionally before. But, I mean, I have touched a steering wheel before, so... I mean, who really is the more qualified person here? Obviously me. 
right? And then they'd look at me like I had, you know, the, the air marshal would be like, uh, sir, we're gonna have to ask you to stand down or I'm gonna tase you. And I'm just like, you know what? You got me there. And, yeah, or, or I'll probably be like, you know what? He's right. Air Force guy, you really should stand down and let the professional handle it here. What was my item? Piggy bank? I think I'm just going to take it. Yeah, you really should stand down, you know, U.S. Air Force pilot. I think I've got this covered. First of all, why am I not doing this? It's two bombs for three? Sounds like a good deal to me. Um... But yeah, I mean, I don't know how flights function. I don't know how to buy a plane ticket, first of all. And they're making it harder, apparently, to buy plane tickets. Or not buy plane tickets, but to get on a plane. Like, it wasn't hard enough already. Like, people tell, or not people, but like, older people tell me stories about how it used to be at an airport. Like, at an airport, it used to be, like, you just walked in. And there was, like, a sign on the door that was, like, no guns, no knives. But, like, there's also a sign at the library that says no guns, no knives. And, I mean, we see, you know, how much security do you see at the at the library, basically. And, and, and first and foremost, I have no idea how that shit flied. Get it flied like an airport. No, but, like, I have no idea how they let that shit fly. Like, yeah, no guns, no air, er, no guns, no knives on this, you know, like, hundred million dollar piece of equipment that is, you know, carrying the lives of, like, 300 people in the sky. You know, if it crashes, then everybody dies. Plus, you know, whatever collateral damage is on the ground. You know, but, like, we have a sign on the door that says no knives and no guns, so, I mean, everyone's gonna listen, right? You know, it's simpler times, right? No. Columbine had already happened. Not that, not that Columbine is, is the same as, you know, crashing a building into a plane, or, like, or crashing a plane into a building, not a building into a plane. Same thing. No, those are not really, you know, equivalent, is what I mean to say here. Um, crashing into a building is one thing, you know. But... You know, you can't make jokes about 9-11. I'm not making a joke about 9-11. I'm saying, what were we thinking? Before now. I'm not saying we should have, you know, the TSA chillin'. You know, looking through our stuff. You know, grabbing us in our no-no places. But, like, at the same time, you know, metal detectors would, it would be, you know, fine. I guess. And I mean, the TSA is, you know, like, I don't want to say it's a joke. I'm going to let Demon Baby handle this. Or I was going to let Demon Baby handle this, and then Demon Baby let me down. But, um... Remember that, like, back in 2000-whatever, when that dude just, like, brought a bomb on a plane in his underwear? And he was like, yeah, what's bopping? I'm taking control of this plane. And then he, like, got shot or something? Remember that? What was going on there? How did TSA not catch that? Hello? I'm sure TSA has stopped, you know... Something. Maybe. I don't know what TSA has stopped. Uh, there's that... That ad on Pornhub of that, you know, that... TSA agent, like, ripping that girl's stuff open. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Excellent dodging by B, my, by me just now, by the way. Excellent dodging by me just now, by the way. You know, glad, uh, they're keeping our air, airways safe. Keeping our, uh, planes, our, our, our airspace safe, yeah. TSA was the, you know, thing. What is going on in this room? How have I not taken damage? Not that I'm complaining or anything, but... 
Okay, look. Okay, now you gotta go. I'm amazing. That was incredible. Incredible. I'm buying this. You can't stop me. Finally got a red heart. Um. No, but like. That's TSA's reputation, I guess. Is that. Yeah, they'll stop you for having, like, mouthwash, but, you know, they can't stop a guy who had a literal bomb in his pants. And I'm not saying that in, like, a gay way. That's a no-homo situation. Like, he literally had a bomb strapped inside of him, or, or to his leg, like, in his underwear. And they let that slide, but, like, they stopped me when I was, like, seven for having toothpaste that was, you know... 0.1 ounces above the amount that you are technically allowed to carry. Now, I will admit, they did let me through with that much, but they were like, it's like a seven-year-old. So, you know, it doesn't really apply here. Oh, my Lanta. You know, they didn't think a seven-year-old, or, 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 I'll put it this way, they didn't think a seven-year-old white boy had a literal bomb inside of his pants, but like, at the same time, what if I did? You know, they they let me through. Or I guess they didn't think I had a bomb in my pants, they thought I had toothpaste that was above the amount that was allowed to be carried. And there was like this other guy who had like a, a bomb in his watch or something? Like a really small bomb in his watch? You know what I'm talking about? Or did I just imagine that? Or is that like a fake news kind of thing? I don't know. It doesn't matter. What matters is, you know... It's never really... No one really gets stopped by TSA from doing something, you know, illegal. Like getting a bomb on an airplane. You know... They get stopped by TSA because they have, like, too much mouthwash or like some garbage like that tsa has like a, a like an instagram page of like the shit that they take from people and it, it's like haha funny but at the same time like why are you flexing on us like that you know why are you being like yeah, this is all the shit we took from people. Like, yeah, it was, like, weapons, right? But it was, like, some old man had, like, a knife in his cane. This old man was not hijacking a plane. This old, like, this old dude, there's, like, no chance he's, he's like, hopping on that plane and is like, I got a knife in my cane, crashed this plane into the Ten Towers or something. You know? That's not what he was like. He was like, yeah, I have, like, a, a quirky bomb cane that I carry because I'm old and that's the kind of shit we do let's go um I'm too fast now no nah, but like it was just some like old dude with a, like with like and then they they like are like detained him for having like a, a a cane knife or something and they're like oh yes we are we are very adequate we can catch a, a dude with a knife in his cane because we have you know x-rays and shit but we can't catch a dude who has a literal bomb inside of his underwear how'd you let that happen i mean why are you gonna flex on an old man when you couldn't catch like a literal bomber like like you you your prime functionality was to catch bombers on planes and you couldn't do it i mean what does that say about the reputation of the uh, TSA. Very sad we got hit here. I just haven't had any spirit hearts, so like I'm not gonna. But like this run is fine without it. Like I'm not gonna cry for now. Um, speed up range. I don't want that. I really don't want that. They're like yeah, and like it was like a, like a whole Instagram page. Like you can check it. Like, a whole-ass Instagram page of them being like, Yeah, uh, sorry to flex on you, but we just, like, confiscated this dude's, like, pin knife or something. You know, like, a, like if you stabbed someone with it, it literally wouldn't kill them. Let's go. Um. No, I just don't, I don't know about the TSA, bro. I don't know. 
I don't know about any of those agencies. Like, they they claim to be doing stuff, but, like, are they really? Right? How can we be sure that they are doing their due diligence? Uh. I mean, we know that they're doing everything, or not everything in their power, but, like, they're doing, like, like a fair amount. This is a nickel, yeah. It sounded different when it dropped. Heavier, kind of. Um, yeah, I just don't know about the TSA. I think it's a good intention, right? A good intention by the, by the government. Or governments. To try and stop, you know, crime that could potentially affect, you know, thousands. You know, protect, protect the lives of, you know, a lot of people. But at the same time, like, are we really sure that that's what's happening? You know, I had the, the TSA checked my bag one time because it was for like a really stupid reason. Um, I went to California and the sand there is different than the sand in North Carolina. Like it's, it's like completely different. And I dare say the, can the sand in uh, North Carolina is better than the sand in California. The sand in California is just like dirt. It's just like gritty. Yeah, I'll take this. It's like gross, kind of. Not gross, gross, but like, you don't want to, you don't really want to be in it. And I'm pretty sure there are people in California that would be like, yeah, I disagree with that. I love to be in the sands of California. Be yeah, but have you been to North Carolina beaches, though? Have you been to Florida beaches? Like, if there was a tier list for, you know, sands in states, Florida is getting, you know, the A, the A tier spot. It's just better. It's just good. Uh, yeah, the sand there, the sand in Florida, like Florida beaches, is just like, wow. I didn't know sand could be like this. Our damage is out of control. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting better. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Um, we don't even need to deal with the devil. That's why I'm not looking for spirit hearts here. If I if I get a deal with the devil, you know that's fine. But like our our tiers are so good already that I think we can do the rest of the game with them, especially with this sun card. Get this right quick. But still love a deal with the devil. I don't know that I would take Brimstone, it would ruin our tier effects, but... Actually, yeah, I would. Homing tiers with Brimstone? It's so good. Um, where was I going? I, I went to the California beaches, and the sand there was different, so I was like, I'm gonna steal sand from the beach. So I got like a plastic water bottle and just like filled it up with sand. I was like, let's go. I want the sand, I'm taking it. And so I did. I filled up a water bottle with the sand, and I was like, I just put it in my bag. And so that apparently, like, set off the, uh, their alarm system, and their, and when they were checking bags or whatever, because when I got my bag back, you know, it had, like, a little piece of paper in it that was like, you may notice that some stuff has moved around in your bag, it's because we, you know, thought we saw something suspicious, and we had to check it out. I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. I mean, it, like, after all, it is, like, a, a whole ass a bottle of sand, right? You know, when that when that goes through, like, a imaging system, you know, that, that probably looks, like, straight up like a bomb. <laughs> like, like, I don't know what it looks like on the system, because I don't work for the TSA, but, like, I imagine that it looks pretty similar to, like, something you don't want to see. Like, that's not something you want to see on your imaging system whenever, like, someone shady is going through your airport. Like, yes, a large, dense object is packed under clothes in somebody's suitcase, and, uh, it's about to get on a plane that's going, like, on a pretty long flight across the country. So, we're gonna have to, you know, open that bag up and see what it is. 
you know, they don't want that on the plane. I understand. You know, you don't got to tell me that. I got it. You know, if I was working, you know, the imaging system, I would look at it and I'd be like, that's, you know, that's pretty suspicious, brother. Like, I don't know about that one. But, like, at the same time, you know, a, a second time that I got on the plane, I had, like, a belt or something in there. Or not, like, a belt, but, like, just, like, clothes and stuff. And they were like, hmm, looks pretty suspicious to me. Um, I'll tell you what. Buy this. Two spades. Okay, buy this. Buy this. Buy the Take this back. Reroll. Rerolling, looking for... We're looking for, like, the backpack. Two hearts. Fuck, I wanted that. Um, looking for a backpack. Backpack? Backpack? That's not the backpack. Um, what is this? Dink Depths 2. Okay, take this. Right here. Let's... <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, buy this. Buy this. Buy this. Buy this. Um, take this on. Okay, now we're out. Um, but like, it, it was like nothing was in the bag, and they were like, yes, you may detect it. We have, you know, opened your bag and moved stuff around because we had to check it. Like, there was nothing in there. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Had to check it for there being something in there. That it didn't work. Did we already go to the item room? What if we pick prop toses? You know what do you mean you had to look in there for? You know it was just clothes. And that that made me like think about it, and I was like, how bad is the imaging system? Like what's going on there? We don't need damage. We don't need spirit hearts either. Take this. Fuck it. Give me the headless baby. Yeah, I think I'm just out of here. I think I'm done. Yeah. Um, how bad is the imaging system that they're using that they think like a bunch of clothes, which goes to the airport literally every fucking day? They're like, yes, we thought we detected something, you know, illicit in your in your bag. It's it's clothes. Like, what, what did you think you detected? How does a bomb look like clothes? Or, or not even a bomb, like weapons or like drugs. How does that look like clothes? Yes, we got the new uh, drug-shaped fentanyl. <laughs> or uh, clothes-shaped fentanyl. Um, we had to check your bag to make sure you weren't uh, carrying any of it. What do you mean, brother? It's clothes! And so I'm wondering, like, just how efficient are we talking about here? I'm not imagining that it is efficient at all. Really? I mean, what's going on there? How does- how do clothes look like anything illicit? And that makes me think, like, is your imaging system really doing its job because, you know, not to belabor the point, but, like, you literally failed to detect a bomb. An actual bomb. Not like a fake bomb. Or, like, a, a test bomb. It was, like, like not one that was, like, I guess all bombs that you try to sneak somewhere are, are, are made to be not, or made to avoid detection, but, like... This was just some dude. Or, or not some dude, some, you know, bad guy. You know, I'll, I'll give some credit where credit's due. He was a bad guy. He was doing, you know, bad things. But, you know, I don't imagine he has, like, a PhD in, you know, bomb hiding. But yet, it, it, it slipped past. And that's like a blunder, right? But, like, you gotta do better with blunders. You can't be letting that through. What if your mama was on that plane? Huh? You'd feel pretty dummy. I don't know where I am. 
Where am I? Hello? Okay, we're good. I don't know. I don't know about the TSA. I don't know about planes. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. Planes are like, are, are, are weird. And, and planes aren't even really perfected. Like, like I was at, uh, I was getting my hair cut. And the lady was, who was cutting it was like, yeah, you hear about that plane? And I was like, what? No. She was like, yeah, there was an accident with a plane. And she was being like, kind of like grim about it. She was like, yeah, it's a real tragedy what happened. A hundred people. And I was like, what? What happened to that fucking plane? I, I ain't heard about no plane. She was like, yeah, it was a brand new plane. And uh, there was an accident. And I was like, she didn't tell me what happened. I was just like, so you gonna tell me what happened or? And that makes me think like, we got people working on like building spaceships, right? I just fucking fucking hell. I meant to press spacebar to skip the boss intro, and now I gotta go all the way back to get this battery. So how are you? I'm good. I'm thinking about them planes. Hey, where's that battery at, Chief? Do I have a battery? Oh, it's not here. Oh, my lanta. Curse of the... Okay, this is fine. Okay, yeah, put me here. Here? Yeah, okay, we're good. How do you miss a bomb on a plane, though? And I'm, I'm kind of tired, tired of talking about that, but, like... I just don't know a whole lot about Sacrifice Key there. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the TSA. I assume that they have, like, imaging protocols and stuff, you know, like, they have to have to image everything and, you know, do their due diligence and all that. But, like, at the same time, you know, it's like a, like, I don't know how much money the government sinks on, you know, like, TSA services or whatever. Not even services, but, like, TSA stuff. TSA related things. But like, I imagine uh, it's gotta be like an amount that is not insignificant. I mean, it might be insignificant by by government standards, but not insignificant <gasps> by uh, Rena standards. You know, Rena likes money. Rena would love to have you know, I don't know what the budget is. If it, let's say it's like five million dollars, probably more than that, honestly. Let's say it's not though. Let's say it's like, let, let's say it's like five million. And they're like, yeah, it's only five million to our budget. You know, that ain't much. But like at the same time, you know, that's more money than I got. So all I'm saying is, we just pay the air marshals, right? And then, whatever money you save, right, spin on metal detectors, and then whatever money you save after that, you pay to me, because I came up with the idea. You're welcome. And uh, thank you in advance for all the money. I appreciate it. You know, it, it's not easy being this brilliant. You know, I have to think a lot, you know. You know how it is. Surely. Or you could spend some of that budget, you know, upgrading the systems that find bombs. If you're letting, you know, bombs through, maybe it's time you get an upgrade. Now, I don't know about government engineers or any of that garbage. Like, I myself consider myself to be an up-and-coming engineer. I'm only, I'm finishing my first year, you know, in April. And I and I'm I'm doing pretty good for myself, or or not like for myself, but like I'm I'm getting pretty good grades by engineer standards. You know I'll be an engineer eventually, right? But like at the same time, you know, yo, what's popping? I'm talking about the TSA. I don't want the TSA to hear. Why didn't you close it back? 
No, 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 no. I'm in my, st I'm in the stew going nuts, mom. I'm in the stew going nuts. It means I'm in the stew going nuts. I means I'm in the stew going nuts. The TSA. The TSA is listening to the TV, mom. The TV's on. Well, it was on. You think I actually care about the TSA? My mother hearing me talk trash about the TSA? Not that you work for the TSA. Tell him he's doing a terrible job. Just a, just a really foul job. He wants a better job? Just because he wants that doesn't mean he's doing a good job. Or the TSA is doing good. I'm sure he's doing fine. Anyways. Why are they talking about TSA agents? Look, all I'm saying is, if they are letting bombs through, or, or letting planes just like straight up crash, maybe it's time for an upgrade. Now, I don't know... Uh, if they have like their own engineers working on it or something but like all I'm saying is your boy's gonna be uh, a real engineer in a few years so uh, hit me up I, I'll make a really good imaging system it won't give you flags for clothes when it or it won't give you a flag for a bomb when it's actually just like straight up clothes uh, I do very good job yes thank you But like that's just how it, that's just how it is. That's how that's how I feel about TSA. I'm sure they're doing a fantastic job, but at the same time, like could be doing a better job. That's all I'm saying. Oh no, it's you. You are no son of mine. Um, but yeah, as, as far as planes go, I was talking about it, I was like, if we're, we're sending, we're about to be sending, like, straight up, not planes, but spaceships into space, right? But, like, we haven't even really got, like, airplanes, like, down yet. Not, like, down, like, landed, but, like, down, like, 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 figured out. I mean, we have, like, we have planes figured out. Like, that's, that's not the problem. We, we have, like spaceships that have been to the moon and stuff but we also have you know planes that were like just built that like malfunctioned and you know like i'm sure there is like protocol for like making sure your plane parts work right all i'm saying is it like it's probably like stringent enough as it is but like it must not be it stringent like enough enough because like a plane just like fell out of the fucking sky apparently um i don't know i i don't even i didn't even hear about the story maybe she was making it up but it sounded like really grim because she wouldn't tell me you know what happened she was just like yep brand new plane a hundred people and i was like wait what <laughs> What happened? What did they do? But like, if planes are like falling out of the sky or malfunctioning, you know, and we're sending planes to outer space, you know, the great beyond, you know, I feel like we should be a little more careful. Like, we should get, like, regular planes, like, working first, and then think about putting planes in outer space. I mean, where do we even want to go to outer space? And, like, that's a different topic in itself. Like, I, I have written out of my notepad on my phone for stuff to talk about. I was, like, I was thinking about it. I was, like, yeah, all of our problems here on Earth would, like, be fixed if we just went to another planet. Or, like, we split our population across, like, different planets, right? I don't want to go to the void. I already told you I don't want to go to the void. I am not, I'm not doing it. But, like, if we split our population between, like, like two different planets, 
then we would be in a better spot. That's all I'm saying. We'd be in a better spot because... Oh, my Lanta. We'd be in a better spot because... Like... You know why we'd be in a better... Like, scarcity and all of that. Scarcity is what I'm talking about here. That's a different conversation in itself, but like... Am I saying we don't need planes in space? No. That's not what I'm saying. I think that's our next step as like a as a species is to put planes in space right but at the same time you know i don't want to be on that plane in outer space if we ain't even really got the planes figured out here how can i trust the engineers to make airplanes to go to space if they are having failures here on earth now when i say i don't know if it's stringent enough as it is, it's probably strange enough. They have like crazy airplane statistics that are like, you're more likely to get struck by lightning while jerking off, you know, your, your winning lottery ticket, you know, or both of your winning lottery tickets that you bought back to back, than be in an airplane crash. Like, I think those statistics might be like a little skewed. Like, I'm not saying they are like completely skewed, but like, they gotta be at least a little bit skewed, right? It's not impossible to be in an airplane crash. Yeah, no. No, thank you. I've had my share of delirium lately. But yeah, that's... That's my opinion on, uh... Airplanes. Get a load of that airline food, am I right? Uh, thanks for watching if you watched. Thanks for not watching if you didn't watch. I'll see you next time. See ya.